The success of forensic genealogy has exploded recently. Family trees and DNA tracking down killers and identifying the missing often after decades. Well, now the Indiana State Police are one of the first police agencies in the country to hire, one, hire someone specifically with those skills. Our Jenny Runovich introduces us tonight to their DNA detective. When it comes to crime fighting, mysteries of murder and missing persons are often solved inside the laboratory of Indiana State Police. And now there's a new citizen sleuth working side by side with law enforcement. It's a dream job. A scientist cracking cases through forensic genealogy. Forensic investigative genetic genealogist, or we call it FIG. I like to say that I'm a DNA detective and I love a good mystery. So for me, finding a role that I could do all of the above was really, really exciting. Bradley Marchant may wear a bow tie instead of a badge, but this DNA detective could be the most significant hire by ISP in decades. The first ever forensic genetic genealogist working for state police, only the sixth such position nationwide. Police in Indiana had been outsourcing this kind of work to private labs at a cost of thousands of dollars per cold case. Now, Marchant can puzzle it out in-house, solving crimes faster and cheaper with technology seen as a game changer. This is huge. First Sergeant Kevin Smith runs the state's cold case team. He says FIG is the biggest breakthrough in criminal investigations since the fingerprint and DNA itself. The Ted Bundy's of the world might not exist after this. Give me that DNA today, two weeks from now, we we'll probably know who it is. Here's why. Traditional DNA testing compares evidence to possible suspects in a national criminal database. But if there's no match, the case stalls. With FIG, it doesn't go cold. Marchant uses family trees to search for suspects, connecting relatives through DNA people upload to public genealogy databases like GEDmatch or Family Tree DNA. Those trees are going back, and we're looking for ways that they overlap. So we might have two individuals who are maybe a third cousins of a potential suspect. And we find out how they are related, who are their shared ancestors, which would then be shared ancestors of that perpetrator. A staggering 50% of cases are solvable with this technique. Most famous nationally, the Golden State Killer. In Indiana, she just turned eight years old and two weeks later she was gone. Fig solved the April Tinsley case after detectives spent three decades trying to catch her killer. Forensic genealogy finally found their man in 2018. You know, that was the sixth case in the country. Now there's been hundreds and hundreds of them solved. And a few years from now, it's going to be thousands. Just last year, Fig solved the 1975 abduction and attack of three Indianapolis girls. And right now, it's being used to identify victims of accused Indiana serial killer Herb Baumeister through DNA and genealogy of bones found at Fox Hollow. These cases have had hours and hours and hours of investigative work put into them. And then to be able to just give them that little piece that brings it all together. It's pretty amazing. Marchant got his first lead on a case after just six days on the job. In six days, 1,400 individuals were put together to help identify this one person. I mean, that just goes to show how powerful the tool can be. All Indiana law enforcement now can access FIG and Marchant's work at the state lab for free, saving time, money, and future crime victims. This is not a, necessarily a cold case technique. This is a case technique active investigations for people who are maybe currently serial rapists or serial murderers or serial criminals. Maybe we catch the guy before he reoffends, which is kind of the whole point. Taking criminals off the streets with forensics, family trees, and a DNA detective hunting them down. In Indianapolis, Jenny Runovich, 13 News. We want to let you know that you can help in this process. So if you ever took an ancestry test, just upload that info to GEDmatch or family tree DNA. The more people in the database, the more cold cases solved and missing loved ones identified. We've got a link for you right now. It's on WTHR.com.